how to self-quarantine. And take care of yourself or any of you family member who is suspected with coronavirus. People of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus, COVID-19. Older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions, such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease, appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with the virus. This new virus is very contagious and has quickly spread globally. How to find out if you have the novel coronavirus that causes the COVID-19 disease or just the common cold? The typical symptoms of COVID-19 are more similar to the flu, fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, than the common cold, runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, congestion, slight body aches, mild headache, sneezing, low-grade fever, malaise. Some people may become infected but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell, according to the WHO. These people can still transmit the virus to those around them, even if they don't feel ill. Most people with COVID-19 develop mild or uncomplicated illness, approximately 14% develop severe disease requiring hospitalization and oxygen support and 5% require admission to an intensive care unit. Because of the burden on the healthcare system, hospitalization may not be possible for those presenting with mild illness, unless there is concern about rapid deterioration. If there are patients with only mild illness without any underlying chronic conditions or at any risk of developing complications should be cared at home. Patients and household members should be educated about personal hygiene, basic IPC, infection prevention control, measures, and how to care as safely as possible for the person suspected of having COVID-19 to prevent the infection from spreading to household contacts. So, how to take care of yourself at home? Stay in a well-ventilated single room, if you are a COVID-19 suspect. Try to minimize shared space and ensure that shared spaces, e.g. kitchen, bathroom, are well-ventilated, keep windows open. Household members should stay in a different room or, if that is not possible, maintain a distance of at least one meter from the ill person. Limit the number of caregivers. Ideally, assign one person who is in good health and has no underlying conditions. Visitors should not be allowed until the patient has completely recovered. Perform hand hygiene after any type of contact with patients. If hands are not visibly dirty, an alcohol-based hand rub can be used. For visibly dirty hands, use soap and water. When washing hands with soap and water, it is preferable to use disposable paper towels to dry hands. If these are not available, use clean cloth towels and replace them frequently. To contain respiratory secretions, a medical mask should be provided to the patient. The mouth and nose should be covered with the disposable paper tissue when coughing or sneezing. Caregivers should wear a medical mask that covers their mouth and nose when in the same room as the patient. Masks should not be touched or handled during use. Remove the mask using the appropriate technique. Do not reuse masks or gloves. Daily clean and disinfect surfaces that are frequently touched in the room where the patient is being cared for, such as door knobs, bedside tables, bed frames, and other bedroom furniture. Clean and disinfect bathroom and toilet surfaces at least once daily. Regular household soap or detergent should be used first for cleaning, and then, after rinsing, regular household disinfectant should be applied. Persons including caregivers and healthcare workers, who have been exposed to individuals with suspected COVID-19 are considered contacts and should be advised to monitor their health for 14 days from the last day of possible contact. Look out for each other with a distance. Stay calm and follow your doctor's instructions if you are diagnosed with COVID-19 so you can recover and help prevent it from spreading. 
maintain a correspondence communication with medicinal services supplier or general well-being staff, or both, in case of home quarantine, for the length of the home consideration time frame that is, until the patient's symptoms have totally settled. Stay home stay safe. Take good care of yourself and your well-beings. Maintain a good healthy distance of at least a meter and wash your hands frequently. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thanks for watching.